Are you, like many of us, stressed out, feeling anxious, feeling worried about the future? Are you going, maybe you're going through a, a difficult situation? Maybe you don't know where to turn, maybe you're feeling stressed out, maybe you're feeling very uncertain about your future. Well, I encourage you to watch this video right to the end and I'll try and navigate you through your problem, through your situation, through your difficulty. I know I've got the answer for you, the answer that you need to hear. So I'll see you very soon. When we go through difficult times, when we go through life with uncertainty, we have to, we have to trust God. And you know, you might say to yourself, well, that's all right for you to say, because you're not, you're not going through what I'm going through. Well, as a human being, I've been through many difficult situations in the past. And what I'm going to share with you today is the very best advice. And it is trusting God in uncertain times. And I just want to encourage you with a short word but a powerful word and the first thing i want to say to you is join me in prayer and then we'll get right to it so would you take the time would you bow your head would you open up your hearts would you join me in prayer and then let's give it all to to god let's give it all to jesus and see what he unravels see what he unfolds for your situation Gracious Father, we hallow your name. We lift you up, Father God. We exalt you, Father. Father, just bless our friend right now, the one tuned into this video. Bless our brother, our sister, and help them navigate the trial that they're going through, this difficult problem, Father God, with your word. Help them, Father God, to trust you more in times of uncertainty. Fill them with your peace, Father God. Guard their minds and their hearts from the enemy, Father God. From the worry, from the fear, from the insecurity. Father, in the name of Jesus, just bless them and help them navigate through their problems. In Jesus' mighty name, and fill them with your peace. I praise you and I thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hi everybody, my name is Pastor Gareth Lavelle and I'm coming at you all the way from Manchester in England and a big warm welcome to you. So now let's get to the short study so that you can get your problems, your situations sorted out with the help of Almighty God. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, the first thing we've got to do, we've got to rely on God's promises when we're going through these difficult times or these uncertain times, we've got to rely on God's promises. And what do I mean by that? Well, you've got to get into his word, right? You've got to get into his word and you've got to look for those promises. And God is faithful, he's reliable and he's unchanging. He, God Almighty is the same yesterday, today and tomorrow. He never changes. And so we can always rely on God's faithfulness, on God's wonderful promises. Amen. You know, we've got to seek God's guidance. Seek God's guidance. And how do we do that? By praying. We've got to pray to Almighty God and we've got to uh, seek His heart. Allow our hearts to meet with His heart and, and talk with God, commune with God in prayer. That is that is the best thing we can do because you know we as human beings we have limited intelligence we have limited wisdom and so who better or what better source to go to for for more wisdom than that of god almighty amen god has got infinite wisdom and he wants you to have that wisdom he wants to bless you with it. He wants you to trust him during these uncertain times by going to him in prayer, going to the faithful one, going to the glorious one, going to the one that you can trust. And you've got to seek God 
and ask God for wisdom in times where you have to make very difficult decisions or very critical decisions in your life. And it's vital that you do that. He is your life source. He is the only source of true life because he is the one and only true living God. So we must turn to him in prayer and seek wisdom from above because no human being can give you the wisdom that God can give you. We're all limited in our intelligence. We're all limited in our wisdom. And so God is the intimate wisdom. He is the uh, perfect wisdom. He is the best source of wisdom that you could possibly ask for because you can't really trust human beings wisdom it's you know it's limited but god is the limitless wisdom amen hallelujah so pray and ask god seek god with all your heart and ask god to guide you through your situation to help you through your problems to navigate you through the storms of life ask him to help you ask him to give you his wisdom Amen. You know, God is a God of love, God of compassion, and, and God is a God of peace. Peace that surpasses all understanding. There is nothing greater than the peace of God. And so we, we must seek God, and, and you will know when your heart is met with his heart, and when you've given him your all from your heart, when you've given him your brokenness, when you've given him your difficulty, when you've given him your situation, because you will be filled with the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. And that is absolutely beautiful and fantastic and wonderful beyond comprehension. And I want you to also stop worrying and start remembering God's faithfulness, how he has helped to bring you through situations in the past. You know, we, as human beings, we tend to look back to our past and we look back at the condemnation from the enemy Satan, the lies from Satan, telling us that we're worthless, telling us that we're no good, telling us that we can't do this or we can't do that. The enemy Satan wants to tear you down. He wants to lie, steal and destroy you emotionally, physically and mentally and spiritually if he can. But you've got to magnify God, not your problem. So don't look back in your past at your past problems. Look at God's faithfulness. If you're going to look back into the past, look back at God's faithfulness and say, yeah, I remember. God did this great thing for me. God brought me through that valley. God brought me through that problem. God Almighty brought me through that situation. God Almighty cleared the way, cleared all the obstacles out of my way, and he gave me a clear path because God is the light to our feet, the lamp to our feet and the light to our path. And when we turn to him for wisdom, he will straighten our paths. You see, when we try to do things under our own strength, we are weak. What can we achieve under our own strength? We must turn to God. We must trust God. We must remember his faithfulness. Everything that he has done for us everything that he's brought to pass in our lives, in my life, in your life, whatever he has brought to pass, hold on to that faithfulness, use his faithfulness, the memory of his faithfulness, what he did for you as a stepping stone to propel you forward, propel you forward to getting through your difficulty, your problem, your situation, help him uh, ask him to help you to navigate through. And I want you to know that God is faithful and you won't be going through this valley on your own and, and God will not be waiting at the other side of the valley for you. 
because God Almighty, God Almighty will be with you, holding your hand, navigating you all the way through. Isn't that a beautiful thought? But it's a true thought. He won't just say, come through and I'll meet you at the other side. He said, no, I'm going with you. Like the scripture said, Jesus got in the boat and he went across to the other side with his disciples and he'll do the same for you all the way through. You won't be meeting him at the other side because he'll be with you every second of the way. Every footstep you take, God will take a footstep with you. He will hold your hand and guide you through the problem, the situation, whatever it is you're going through trusting God in uncertain times. Amen. Hallelujah. And always remember his faithfulness. Now, I've got a scripture that I want to share with you. Well, I've actually got two scriptures I want to share with you because I want to encourage you uh, to look into God's word because God does speak to us through his word. So would you turn in your Bibles, if you will, to Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 and I'm going to be breaking down these verses so that's Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 and this is the wisdom to King Solomon and to the people of Israel and we can also apply this to our lives today here in 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 this this very day amen so we can we can trust God, we can trust God in all of our situations right now and we can trust God in uncertain times in 2024 and 2025, amen, hallelujah, praise God. So we can trust God and so let me read the scripture to you. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart, that's the first part, isn't that, you know, something, trust is a very big thing with God. We've got to really trust Him. We've got to rely on Him. We've got to lean on Him and lean into Him with all of our hearts. And it says, and do not lean on your own understanding. That means don't try and do it by yourself with your own limited understanding, your own limited wisdom. But trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding your own wisdom your own intelligence because it's all limited mine's limited yours is limited we need help from god almighty amen and it says in verse 6 in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths so in all your ways not in some of your ways but in all of your ways acknowledge god put god as number one in your life share all of your heart with him don't just keep some things back let him be the lord of your life every aspect of your life he must be number one in all areas of your life so in all your ways acknowledge him acknowledge that he is god the sovereign god god almighty the one full of wisdom full of love and compassion and can help guide you through every situation every problem every storm Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And you know, the, the next scripture I've got for you is from Philippians. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. And we're going to be reading in verse 6. So it says, Do not be anxious about anything that's the first line of the verse do not be anxious about anything so what 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 is that what does that mean do not be anxious about anything exactly what it says it's very plain and simple stop worrying stop uh, you know stop being anxious about things that you don't even have the true answer to that you don't have the answer to at all and worrying about it will not give you any peace. So, do not be anxious about anything. Don't worry about anything. God is in control. God is a, a all, 
is God Almighty. He is the sovereign Lord. He knows all things. He's in all places at all times. He knows all things. He knows your situation. He knows your difficulty. He knows how to help navigate you through those storms in life and through this particular storm that you're going through right now. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. How do you go to God? You go to God in prayer. You pray to God. You exalt God. You hallow His name. You talk with God. You let your heart meet with His heart. Your mind meet with His mind. Your spirit man meet with His spirit man. Because remember, we've got to acknowledge Him in all of our ways. And we've got to make supplication. And what does that mean? Supplication means to let our request, our needs be known to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And then we've got, it says with thanksgiving, we've got to be thankful. Say thank you God for answering my prayers. Thank you God, even though I'm going through these difficult times, I know that you will answer my prayers. I trust you with all my heart. I'm not leaning on my own understanding on my own limited wisdom. I'm leaning on you. I'm leaning upon you and I will seek your wisdom to help me get through this problem, this stressful time, this difficult time, this storm in my life. I'm trusting you in these times of uncertainty and I'm letting you know this is my need. Help me, Father God. You're a loving, a loving, gracious God, full of mercy. Have mercy upon me. Help me through this problem. And then it says, And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So when you give everything to God, your brokenness, your failures, your stress, your worries, your anxiety, your depression, when you give it all to God and you give it Him truly, sincerely, then your mind and your heart will be filled with the peace of God. And it's a peace that is so beautiful and so big and so overwhelming that it surpasses all understanding. It blows your mind, it will blow your mind. It will short circuit your brain because God's peace truly does surpass all understanding in Christ Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. You know, God is a wonderful, beautiful God who loves you so very, very much. And he wants to help you navigate through the storms of life. No matter what you're going through, no matter what your situation is, he wants you to lean in and lean on him. He wants you to share your heart with him truly. Empty your heart to him. Cry out to God. Cry out to him. In your brokenness, cry out to him. In your desperation, cry out to him. Lean on God and trust Him in all these times of uncertainty, all these times of difficulty, all these times of stress. And just like in the days of, of the Israelites, when they were held in captivity for 430 years by the Egyptian Pharaoh and his people, God took his people out of captivity with Moses by the hand of Moses, by the mouth of Moses, and he parted the Red Sea. Boom! He parted the Red Sea, and he led his people go to the other side of the sea on dry land. And when the enemy was following behind, so that the enemy couldn't defeat or take them back into captivity, God let the sea close upon the enemy, drowning the enemy and washing them out of sight, never to be seen again. God will save his people. 
God saved the Israelites. He parted the Red Sea for them. He gave them a way of escape, a route of escape. He will help navigate you through your problems, through your situation. And if he has to part the Red Sea again for you, he'll do it again. He'll do it again because he loves you. You're not alone. When you've got God, you're never ever alone. You might feel lonely, but you're never alone with God. And remember, keep trusting him. Try and apply these two scriptures to your life and, and speak them out loudly. Speak them out loudly and give honor and glory to God and thanksgiving after you've done all that and trust him. Trust God with all of your heart and lean not on your own limited wisdom or understanding. Lean not on your own strength. Take the strength of God, God Almighty, the one and only true living God, and he will help you through any situation. Like I said earlier, he will not be waiting on the other side for you because he'll be going all the way through the problem, the storm, the situation, holding your hand. Every step of the way, he will be with you. He will be with you. So praise God. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Just trust him. And he will help you. Believe me, he will help you. And if you're at your wit's end right now, like I said earlier, think about the things that God has done for you. Think upon his faithfulness and start thanking him. Start thanking God for his faithfulness, for what he did in and through your lives in the past. And know with confidence that he can do it again. Amen. He can do it again. Oh, Heavenly Father, we praise your holy name, Father God. We trust you in times of uncertainty, in times of doubt, in times of fear, in times of anxiety and depression, Father. We trust you and we lean upon you for strength and for your wisdom and guidance and be with us every step of the way, Father God, as you guide us through, as you guide us through the difficult storms in our life. Bless us and fill us with your peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding. We love you, Father, and we praise you, and we glorify and honor you, and we thank you in and through your glorious Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And Father, bless our brothers and sisters in Christ who are watching this video now and going through this difficult time. Help navigate them through their storms and give them that peace that surpasses all understanding. We praise you and thank you in the glorious name of your Son, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you feel that peace already? I know I do. When you pray to God, you communicate, you let your heart meet with God's and your spirit man and your mind meet with God's. Then you are, you are filled with a peace that really does blow your mind short circuit your your brain it is so powerful so tangible and it shifts and changes the atmosphere because you the atmosphere is filled with the sweet aroma of god almighty so come taste and see that the lord is good amen well i hope and pray that the word that I've shared with you today is an encouragement to each and every one of you. And I pray that you will trust God in times of uncertainty and allow God to navigate you through your storm in, in your life. Nothing is too difficult for him. I promise you that if you do everything that I've said today, that God, God will help you. He will help you. He won't remove the problem, but he will help to navigate you through. Amen. He's such a loving God, a merciful God, a faithful God. He will never, ever let you down. Well, my name is Pastor Gareth Lavelle, and I'm so thankful that you spent time with me in fellowship here at Cloud Church TV. And I'm so thankful that you took the time to spend time in God's holy word. Amen. And I'll see you. I'll see you on the next Cloud Church TV 
video. So God bless you all. Be filled with his peace, with his love, with his mercy. And remember, trust on God with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. You've got to trust God in times of uncertainty. God bless you. Bye for now. And I'll see you very soon. Bye bye. subscribed please do subscribe to this channel it will help us immensely to get the word of god out to the nations